Let's take a look at the order form itself. So when the customer agrees to purchase the DVD from you, you'll know exactly what to do. A box is provided at the top of the order form where you can place a label with your team name and logo. This helps to show the customer that this is first and foremost about helping out your team. The next section probably looks familiar if you've ever participated in a fundraiser before. This is where you will ask your customers to write their name, address, and a phone number or email address. You must have at least one way of contacting them once their DVDs arrive. Speaking of which, ask them to fill out the quantity of each item they would like to purchase in the box to the right of their name and contact information. Don't forget to ask if they would be willing to purchase more than one to help support your team. After they finish, multiply that number by $25 to find out the total amount of money they owe. If the customer would like to write a check, be sure to let them know to make it out to your nonprofit organization not teach yourself soccer. Once they hand you their cash or check, place it in your collection envelope for safekeeping. When the time comes to turn in your orders, it's going to be important to make sure you properly filled out the information on your collection envelope. Let's assume you've already filled out your name, phone number, and your school or organization. The next few items are reminders for you. Return to reminds you who to turn this envelope into and when the envelope is due. Before you turn in the envelope, Tally up the total number of DVDs sold, both in English and in Spanish. Then add up the total amount of money you're turning in. This will help your fundraiser coordinator to quickly tally your entire team's order and get the DVDs for you to deliver to your customers. Those are the basics of participating in the Teach Yourself Soccer fundraising program. You should receive the DVDs to fulfill your orders within two weeks. From there, you simply have to deliver them. When you deliver them, do your best to deliver them in person. If you're unable to, contact the customer using the information on your order form to make other arrangements. It's a good idea to include a thank you note, especially if you're unable to deliver the DVD in person. A simple thank you can make people much more willing to help you again with other fundraisers in the future. Thanks for taking the time to watch this introduction to the Teach Yourself Soccer Fundraising Program, and good luck!